Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chairperson. We come together in extraordinary times, um, also illustrated by this meeting's virtual character. The pandemic has not made it easier to, to tackle the serious security challenges that we continue to face. But we have the tools, our shared OSE principles and commitments. We must all show the necessary political will to respect and uphold them. I'm very encouraged by the fact that we, under the Albanian chair skilled leadership, seem able to find consensus uh, at this meeting and a new secretary general and new head of the OSD autonomous institutions. A final decision on this is of utmost importance for the organization. The conflict in Eastern Ukraine remains the greatest security challenge in Europe. Fighting can be halted when the necessary political will is there. The relative calm since uh, the July agreement in the trilateral contact group is proof of this. Denmark stands firmly behind the need for full implementation of the Minsk agreements and restoration of the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine. We call on Russia to end its illegal annexations uh, of uh, Crimea. We, rem we re remind all participant states that the S SMM must have unimpended and safe access throughout Ukraine within its international recognized borders. We also maintain our unwavering support for Georgia's sovereignty and territorial integrity within its uh, inter internationally recognized borders. 30 years ago, we, the political leaders of the OSCE, adopted the Copenhagen document. We agreed that the protection and promotion of human rights and fundamental freedoms is one of the basic purposes of government. It is deplorable that the human rights situation across the OSC region is nevertheless worsening. In this regard, we reiterate our call on Belarus to respect the principles and commitments that we have all signed up to. The violence and repression by the Belarusian authorities against its own people must end now. We believe that the OSC has a key role to play in the fight against torture and welcome strengthening efforts in this regard. We remain firm supporters of broad and unhindered participation by civil society in OSCE events. And we reaffirm our unwavering support for the OSCE's autonomous institutions, their mandate, and their ind uh, independence. Mr. Chairperson, Denmark welcomes the cessation of hostilities in and around Nagorno-Karabakh. The toll of this civilian, uh, on the civilian population caused by the fighting is unacceptable. We urge the parties to resume negotiations within the framework of the Minsk group and its uh, co-chairs with the view of reaching a future comprehensive agreement. Mr. Chairperson, the European security architecture is under severe pressure and in some aspects even eroding. Conventional arms control and security and confidence building measures are at the heart of our common security. We need to preserve existing instruments that have served us well, but we must also modernize our toolbox, in particular the Vienna document, and create systems that take into account new security realities and also new technologies. The structured dialogue continues to be a valuable forum for advancing uh, the agenda. We must now come together to defend and develop the European security architecture. Denmark is certainly willing to play its part in this endeavor. In conclusion, I thank the uh, Albanian chairman in office and his team for their very transparent and successful manner of conducting the chairmanship throughout uh, a challenging 2020. And I'm looking forward to closely cooperating with the incoming chairperson, Swedish foreign minister, and Linda, and wish her success for the coming year. Thank you.